So let's begin with Giannis and KD having that duel yesterday on ABC. It was a fantastic game, actually. The Bucs did get the win, 117-114 over Brooklyn. Now, they'll play again Tuesday. That's the cool thing about this season, right, is that you have these little mini-series that are going on, so they're going to they play each other within two days. Giannis goes for 49, third most in a game in his career. He's 21 of 36. That's a career high for field goal attempts. KD goes for 42, and it looks so easy, didn't it, Jay? Third player in Nets history with consecutive 40-point games. And as I said earlier, the third time in NBA history at dueling 40-point games by former MVPs. The other two were back in the 60s, and it was both Wilt Chamberlain and Bob Pettit. So take a listen to Giannis after the game with Rachel Nichols about whether or not this was a head-to-head battle between himself and KD. Nice turnaround. I was not going back and forth with KD. You know, KD is one of the greatest scorers to ever play the game. You cannot play that way. You know, if you go back and forth with a guy like that, he's going to score 50, 70. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, ha- I just had a lucky night. And uh, at the end of the day, I was able to slow down and get to my spot, kept being aggressive. Uh, but this, this game don't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing to me. Uh, we play them again in two days. And uh, as you said, it's a team that we're going to see in the, in the playoffs if you want to go to the finals. Uh, but we got to lock in, we got to come ready on, uh, whenever we play them, and uh, hopefully we can get a win then. This is the rivalry the NBA needs. And I know that Giannis just said some pretty complimentary things about KD. But let me give you some insight into Kevin Durant and how this rivalry is going to happen. So Giannis drops 49 last night, right? Tried to attack the rim, tried to dominate every possession. That's how he plays. He plays pissed off all the time. I love that. But when KD thinks about who are the best players in the game, he loves Michael Jordan. You know why? Michael Jordan had the complete arsenal, the complete toolkit. Whatever you need it, diversified toolkit, I can give it to you. KD sees the best of the best, having all the pieces. Giannis doesn't have all the pieces yet, right? So there's a little bit of that. And I'm not saying I'm speaking for KD, but like, all right, like you're Giannis, you're good, but you're not. You ain't me. You're not me. Yeah. You're not me. Giannis wants to be better than KD. But last night, watching KD miss the shot to tie the game and watching Brooklyn players walk up the court clapping, right? Sitting there saying, all right, we know that we didn't beat y'all, but we didn't have our maestro. <laughs> it's amazing. We didn't have James Harden. Right. So that's what this rivalry is going to be. That's going to be, if that happens, I would love to see that matchup in the Eastern Conference. Nothing. No, I, I thought you pointed to yourself, so no, I thought. I just, because he was talking about a certain thing. I'm like, yeah, that's me. You, you felt you? you feel Nobody the same had way. your toolkit. Yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah. I respect but it. But that's a place that, that a lot of and KD, elite athletes get to. KD is that dude. So that's, you know, mm-hmm. no matter what you do, you chasing me. But uh, we'll say this, Alan, you and I were talking about it. When you saw Giannis score in the last two and a half minutes of the game. He was one for four, and the only the shot move? he made was an up and under where Blake doesn't need to bite on the ball fake. Exactly. They he, let he him He jumped they for the ball fake, fake a fadeaway. Yep. Let him shoot it, Blake. So coming down, it, it's always going to be the same narrative until yep. we get to the playoffs with Giannis. And plus, when you talk about those threes that they just let him set up Walk for, they're going to run up on him, though. In the, in no, they won't. No, they won't. No, no, no. They'll let him shoot you him in the playoffs. You can live with kid. him making threes because he no, doesn't. No, when I, when I say run up on him, they're not just going to sit there and go like that. They're going to put a hand up to try to at least get in his way. Mm, oh, no, 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 Five feet off you, that's a pretty, pretty glaring sign. Oh, I don't respect that. Yeah. Uh, Giannis I respect is like to get out of here. 